Hey guys, welcome to another JK Adventure Food Edition. Check this out. Today we are at Elite Restaurant and we are gonna have the dim sum show. What's special about this place is most dim sum restaurants, they have the world famous dim sum carts with the lady cooking it in front of you. But this place you order restaurant style so you pick what you want and you check it off. And most dim sum places I heard from a 65 year old Chinese man on the streets is that they ship frozen dim sum from one source in Hong Kong, but this place they actually make it fresh. fresh. So that's why there's a huge taste difference from this place, which is elite, versus your typical dim sum restaurant according to Ching Bao. Who's Cheng Bao? Cheng Bao is a the 65 year old ambassador from Hong Kong who knows everything and anything there needs to know about dim sum. So, what exactly is dim sum? Dim sum is when you win some or you lose some. <laughs> dim sum is actually Chinese tea time, Cantonese style, and it's brunch. It ain't breakfast, it ain't lunch, but brunch. And you just sit there with your homies and you talk. Barbecue no more, and then the pork in no more. Oh no. Yeah. So what do you like? Let me know, okay? Thank you so much. Cantonese style, uh, they totally <laughs> don't give a damn. style. They don't give a damn what the hell you doing if you're recording or whatnot. But what I love about Cantonese style is they're straight to the point and they get the job done. And that's basically what dim sum is. It's just a bunch of a shit ton of different flavors. You go out with your buddies, you have tea, you talk for several hours, you drink that tea, you eat a little bit of this, eat a little bit of that, do a little business here, do a little gossip there, and you have a good ass time. And usually it's done with a shit ton of people. As you can see here, we got our whole family. Dim sum, the more, the more people you have, the more fun it is because you get to choose a bunch of different stuff and you get to try a lot of things. So usually, it's not that fun with two people because you're gonna get full. But when you come with like 10 people, you can order 50 things, and all the portions are really small. It's like sushi size, and you split it with all your friends. You can try a variety of shit. And a lot of people, they come to restaurants just for the food, but I think the whole experience of dim sum is about the camaraderie and the whole social aspect. Damn, we battle chopsticks too. That's some skill. Yeah. She was like, man. She made you look like a little bitch. <laughs> this. That's right. So this is special. And what I love about Chinese broccoli is the way they cook it. Outside it's kind of crispy and has this crunch, and inside it's nice and moist. And the only way you can get this texture is if you have an Asian Chinese guy Asian. make this shit because they know the perfect temperature to blast it where it's cooked and then it's still soft on the inside. Is that true? <laughs> a Chinese called Jia Leung. It's pretty much a Chinese donut which uh, people use to eat like porridge with, wrap the rice bowl around it, and this one apparently they stick shrimp in the middle. So it makes it 10 times better. So this is called Macau roasted pork. I don't know many other dim sum places that has this, but when I bite into it, it's like chicharrones on the outside, meaning pork rinds and pork belly on the inside. It is mucho, you don't like it. number one. So this is uh, what you call lo mai gai. Sorry, my candle's really bad, but it's just like um, like sticky rice with chicken, and it has like um, uh, tiny sausage and shrimp inside, and it's like really, really good. What's it wrapped in? It's wrapped in um, I think banana leaves or like bamboo. What is that? Lotus leaves. Lotus leaves. Duck is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite birds in the whole world. As pets. And as food, so, but actually, um, duck is all dark meat, so it's the so good. Especially the way that Cantonese style people roast duck, it's so crispy on the outside and juicy on the inside, and there's so much flavor that I go to Chinese heaven when I eat it. So right here we have an egg custard tart, right? And, tart. <laughs> and um, <laughs> he knows what's up. So then you put, you get okay. This is a motherfucking egg custard tart, <laughs> and you get yolk 
That's why it's so yellow. You take the egg white and you give it to some healthy motherfucker, but you take the yellow part, you blend it up, you put it in the oven. Once it starts boiling, then you throw some sugar in there, and then you put some honey and some vanilla extract, and then you, you get the Pillsbury <laughs> Doughboy croissant rolls. You take that out, the one that's gonna the one that's gonna layer up, and you fold it into a half thing. You put this egg yolk mix you have, and you put it in the Pillsbury Dough Doughboy croissant rolls. <laughs> And then you put it into a barbecue, and then this is what comes out. And it's famous in the Portuguese style and Macau style and Hong Kong Cantonese style. Hold up. <laughs> this is a dessert, and it's sweet, and it's bomb. Thank you. And you can eat at any time. You can go to a Chinese bakery and get oh, this okay. in the middle of the day if you want. That actually sounded pretty on point. <laughs> On the, the Mark's <laughs> history lessons are always inaccurate. It's inaccurate, but somehow, like, if you actually followed followed out what he said, it, you you might actually you know what that what that is, though. Pillsbury <laughs> Doughboy came to China in 1843 BC, and uh, <laughs> before Christ. <laughs>